In this video, you will learn to conjure a sweetening tongue. Those that speak ill against you shall be turned around. Those that you need favor from will be dominated. And sweetness indeed will fall upon your ears by those you desire most. Stay tuned. Bonjour, je suis Comedosa Renoudou de la Cour Imperial Monumentos de la Ponte. I am Queen Comedos, the Udu Queen of the Imperial Court Monumentos de la Ponte, owner of Comedos Kanja, the creators and founders of the annual Hudu Queen Kanja Fact, the proud owners of Kanja South, KanjaSouth.com, and Kanja South Publications, and of course, the Kanja South Hudu Institute of Traditional African American Kanja, Root Work, and Divination. Bienvenue sur mon chien. Welcome to my channel. In this video today, I am going to teach you how to do a sweetening tongue work. Okay, this is a work that is a traditional stamp in traditional hoodoo. Um, I will get a little bit into the history in a little bit, but before we get into all of that, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave a sweet kind comment below. Um, also, Make sure you hit your notification button so you know anytime I make a post and I can't dismiss this, please go like my personal channel, Cotalia, where I am literally giving you the blueprint to elevate your spiritual path. Trust and believe me on this. Now, I'm doing it through root work, which is African American herbalism, two, horseback riding and three music you'll be in, you'll begin to hear some of my original music um that i will be releasing very soon so um yes i look forward to sharing all of that with you all righty so let's get into the space of this working so i've given some very in-depth insight to my institute students about the reasons you're using some of these items for you all, I'm just gonna give you the work as is. If you want to know more information, if you want deeper understanding about the culture and the true, the true traditions of conjuring hoodoo, or beyond all grigri, then you, it would be a great idea to maybe sign up for a couple of the online classes. I just finished doing the Sex Conjure 101 and my baby. I had a student, I gave them homework. They did the work that night, had money in their account the next day, literally the next day. So um, it's really, really great. And in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all in on this little thing. Because this series, I'm not gonna do this series again for another four years because the information is that heavy and that deep. Um, I am, it's, three Wednesdays, so it was this past Wednesday, this up and coming Wednesday, and the next. I am leaving the class open probably for another week, maybe another week, and then I will um, delete it from the site or just cancel it. It'll say like out of stock or something because the information that good and anyone who's taken, who is due to the last class, let them know in the comments, okay? Um, so there's that. But anyways, getting into the space of um, this working. So there are multiple tools within Conjuring Hoodoo, Obiang, Grigri, and, and Juju um, that are sweetening items. One of the um, elements here is an orange, okay? An orange is a very powerful sweetening tool. And we're also normally, normally there are some other items that I don't have in hand, but I will be simulating, but I will also tell you how to simulate or how, or, or how to use a substitute. The great thing about conjuring hoodoo, if you're gifted within the space of conjuring, um, is there are no limits. There are no delays. You will always have all that you need, always. And that's how I teach my students. You will always have everything you ever need. Um, so there's that. So anyways, 
in this working, this is to sweeten the tongue of somebody. Say for example, look, we're coming into the space of Valentine's. In my head, I heard Halloween. Uh, <laughs> you see what my mind is. So, um, so in the space of Valentine's. And with that being said, sometimes you're not getting the sweet words that you're looking for. Or maybe you're not really good with expressing yourself. Or possibly you, this goes beyond Valentine's. Maybe your boss needs to have some favorable words to you um, or a situation, perhaps. This working allows you to shift, to change, to flip, to turn around those things that may be opposing sweet words or kind words or favorable words to you. You can also do this working on yourself. If you know you got a hot mouth, okay, if you know that you got a mouthpiece on you and you need to be a little bit more humble going into a situation, um, this is a working that you can actually do on yourself, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how this is done. It's very simple, very easy, but incredibly effective. Um, I will just let you know a little bit of the ingredients and the tools that you'll need. Very, very simple. Stay tuned. Bienvenue. Welcome back. So, here are the couple of items that you're going to need. An orange. Ginger. Root or powder. Honey. Nectar. Honey or nectar. You can also do syrup something long like a tongue normally we would use vanilla beans or um, green beans or like snapping beans okay a little bit of water and la rota verte which is your road opening oil and this is from our brand comedos conjure which you can find at conjure south now you may say, Queen, what if I don't have La Rota Vert? Then I suggest you get it. No, I'm kidding. If you don't have La Rota Vert, then all you need to do is take a little bit of salt. One thing that I am very adamant about is again, not limiting your magic. There are so many um, companies, businesses out here that are trying to teach you that you have to have these things, but your elders and your grandparents and um, your ancestors, they didn't have Comedos Conjure, you know. They may, have, they may have went to my grandma or my great grandma, possibly. Um, if they were conjurers themselves, they used what they had. They had all the resources they needed. So anyways, moving on. The first thing you're going to do is take your orange. And you want to literally, you can do this two, way, two ways. You can cut an X like this, if you'd like. Or, what I like to do, you got to be careful this way. So let me do it. Let me let me do it the, the the safe way for you. Okay. I'm gonna make an X. This is the safe way, so you don't end up stabbing yourself. I've stabbed myself so many times. <laughs> so you can make an X like that. Now that X is gonna give you the ability to insert some things. You can cut down just a little bit. The point is creating a little entry spot, okay? Creating a little entry spot. Normally when I do this working, I just go straight for the box. <laughs> and I don't make the X with it all the time. But anyways, if you do like that and make the X, then you can, um separate that you know I was going to make like this really quick one minute video with this like boom 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 but I was like you know what I'm not going to do that I want to take my time and give it to you right <laughs> alrighty so now you have this little hole I also forgot to mention you need something of yours and something of the targets so um, it could be their foot tracks, it could be hair, it can be nails, it can be um, a little 
charm of theirs, but something that belonged to them or something from their physical location. So I personally love using the dirt from which they have stood or they have been, unless I can, get, if I can't get hair, any of those things. Well, queen, what if I don't have any of those things? What can I use? You can write your name on a piece of paper and write theirs on a piece of paper. No certain amount of times, but just write their names, write your names, okay? So you have that. What you are going to do then, very, 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 very important, um, you place that inside, all right? You want to place that inside. You are then going to take your nectar, okay? Take your nectar or your honey, and you begin to, I wonder if my students know, is this dressing? Is it anointing? Is it blessing? Which is this? So you are going to dress, because the nectar is more like a herb, um, in this case, it's going to be dressing. It's not like an oil, which you would use to anoint. Okay. So you're going to dress this and you are literally sweetening the tongue of yourself and theirs. All right. And you are dressing this. You are dressing this. All right. I sweeten your tongue. I sweeten my ears. I sweeten your tongue. I sweeten my ears. I sweeten your tongue. I sweeten my ears. Now, you can say that. You don't have to say that. It's not necessary. It is absolutely not necessary. Place it inside of the orange. You can be thinking that. Most importantly, remember, is your clarity. Do not be in high emotion. Don't be angry. Don't be overly excited. You should be clear in mind, okay? Once you have done this, you are then going to take a little bit of your ginger root or ginger powder. And this is going to speed up the process. Once you have done this, take your rotavelt. I always um, take the little stopper out for my stuff. Let me remind you, when you're using a fixed oil or a fixed candle, it is not the space of you having to do anything. It's fixed. All you have to do is link your target to it. Once you have done this, you want to seal this back up. Okay? Seal this back up. Another way that you can seal this up, well, of course, very simple. Take a candle and you can drip it over inside just like that. And that can seal it up. Is this necessary? No. If you if you do the square correctly without the X, it'll just plug it right up perfectly. I want to be completely closed. Oops. There we go. So now it is closed. You are going to take this outside with your glass of water. Take your water and sprinkle it four times. Pretty much um, four directions. Bury the orange in the middle of where you place that water. Bury it. Pour the rest of the water on top of the orange. And then the work is complete. Very simple. Bienvenue. Welcome back. So, I hope that you enjoyed that particular working. Now, I do have people that ask me on a regular basis about like, you know, what are the difference in oils or what are the, what is the difference in 
um, me doing it. So for example, I hear some people say, there is nothing better than using your own ashe. And that is incorrect. That is very incorrect. And that is why many people spend their lifetimes manifesting and never have a day of their life of bringing things into fruition. Um, your level of ashe makes a difference in the level of manifestation and bringing things into fruition. And that is the truth. Um, and I wanted to say that because people go, then queen, do I need your oil? Well, if you are utilizing my oil, you are utilizing my and my ancestral ashe. Um, and depending on it, including me, not just you, but everybody where I may be incredibly powerful, with bringing in money or sweetening the tongues of people, I may be horrible with protecting people. Um, my ashe may not be strong in that space. I'm not saying that's my case, but just giving you an example, okay? So understanding that, yes, you can, you use your level of ashe, and if 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 you don't have La Rotavet from, you know, Comendos Conjure or, maybe you use a road opening oil from somebody else and you don't get the result you want then you may want to try another same method different tool or, or same tool but different brand or different ashe if you will if that makes sense um that is why another video another day another time but anyways um, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed doing this. Again, this is one of my favorites. I um, thank you so much for watching. I also want to say thank you all for your kindness, your love, your support towards Parker. Um, I will lastly mention there is a community service that will be done this up and coming week. The last day to sign up, I believe, is the 10th, um, if I am not mistaken. So that is a steady money working um, and then there's also a donation for Parker if you would like to donate to him. Um, let's see what else. There's New Year's readings that I open back up for the rest of this month. And please make sure that you are reading the new instructions with my availability and all of those things so that we'll have a smooth experience. Merci beaucoup. Have a wonderful day. Bonne journée. And we will speak very soon. A bientôt.